Hey there guys, it's Cheyenne. This week we are doing a collab video, OMG! This video is a collab with Geekarella, who is a really cool fellow DC lady nerd person. Uh, you can check her stuff out someplace. Uh, she's really cool and we ended up uh, mutually subscribing to each other because we both got featured on the DC fan channel. So we were talking about doing a collab together and we were like, okay, well if we're going to do a collab together, clearly the thing that brought us together that we need to discuss is DC. So uh, we decided that we would just do a fun little DC Q&A kind of deal. So she, what we did is she sent me five DC related questions, I sent her five DC related questions, and we're going to talk about them and nerd out some more. So yeah, let's, let's keep that up. Let's go. So question number one that she sent me, who is your favorite DC superhero? You guys get one guess. Yeah, obviously my favorite is Starfire. I got into superhero comic books partially because of Starfire. Uh, I was really big into the Teen Titans animated show because it was kind of anime-esque and that was my thing uh, when I was 11 or 12. There was a corner store by my house that, you know, like the kind where you get like candy and stuff. And someone who worked there must have been just trying to get rid of their like their son's comic books. They would sell comic books for a quarter a piece and they were mostly comics uh, from the late 70s and the 80s and they always had a lot of New Teen Titans issues there and I remember picking up a bunch uh, just because I liked the cartoon and there's something there was like the first time I saw 1980s cord with the big curly hair. My natural hair texture is pretty much the same as like Scary Spice's hair in the 90s and I used to be really insecure about it um, because of internalized anti-blackness but you know hey and <laughs> seeing this character with this like big amazing like never-ending super curly hair was a big deal to me and she was strong but she was so sweet and she was like a warrior but she just had all this joy about life and all this passion for everything and I really connect to that I really like characters who are just enthusiastic and joyous and especially characters who have been through a lot of crap but still are able to find the positivity in life. I find that really inspiring. Uh, so that's probably why she's my favorite, but she's my favorite. Number two, if you could pick any DC character as a sidekick, who would it be? Cassandra Cain. Uh, now Cassandra Cain obviously should be her own hero and off doing her own thing if she's not in the Bat family, but let's pretend that I'm in the Bat family somehow I've talked them into doing that. I feel like I would probably be useless in a fight. So I could do the detective work part and Cassandra could beat people up for me. I feel like we could we could team up and we could make like the the one perfect like you know bat character. Number three, who is your favorite Batman villain? Okay. This is probably a lame one. I don't care. My favorite Batman villain of all time, always will be, like till the end of time, is Baby Doll from the animated series. I love Baby Doll. Baby Doll hits a lot of my buttons. I have, first off, I have always been drawn to uh, things that are like cute but creepy, a character that's like this weird, insane, broken perversion of a 1950s sitcom cute Moppet character. I just think is so interesting and I think that her first episode is one of the best episodes the series ever did. I think that ending is spectacular and I always wish that she had gotten to either be in more episodes of the show because she's only in two or been in the comics because I love Baby Doll. I think Baby Doll is fantastic. I think she's such an interesting character. She has an interesting backstory. Uh, she's actually much more formidable in a fight than you would think she would be considering she's like two and a half feet tall. Her romance with Killer Croc was weird but I, I feel like she's such an interesting character and I don't know why they didn't use her more. I mean, maybe she wasn't like that popular or maybe it's because they don't want it to look like Batman is fighting a little girl even though they always go out of their way to explicitly say that she's not a little girl. Um, 
but but she's just my favorite. Number four, who is your favorite DC Comics artist? So if you watch my Starfire collection video I did on all my Starfire issues, you may see this coming, you may have gleaned it, um, but the answer to this one is probably George Perez. I think that George Perez's work is just beautiful. He has this way of doing um, things that are really expressive and really beautiful and and he does these amazing pieces that are just all these wonderful details. I could look at his new Teen Titans issues all day. I also really love uh, the bits of his Wonder Woman run that I've read. I haven't read all of it. I need to work on that. Number five. What is your favorite DC video game? Okay, um, so I've mentioned this before. I like video games, but I'm awful at them. Have So I have the first Teen Titans Game Boy Advance game, and I really enjoy it. I, you know, bought it at some, like, used game shop. Um, and it's kind of cool because you can switch between all of the Titans for different things. Uh, so, like, if you need to fly, then you switch to Starfire. If you need to, like, get through a small space, you switch to Beast Boy and then, like, morph into a, a little bird. If you need to use a force field, you switch into Raven. It's really cool. It's really fun. I'm awful at it. I still have not beat it. Don't judge me. I have always said, I, like... I'll try to play with you in a game, I'll watch you play a game, if you want me to be good at it, that I cannot promise you. So those were my five questions, uh, check out the ones that I asked Geekerella on her video, which I will put the link to here or someplace, I don't ever know where I put them, but somewhere, it'll be someplace. Um, if you have any other questions about DC stuff or anything, I'm always happy to oblige. <laughs> I've got cosplay to work on. I'll see you guys later.